All right, so you're trying to switch from the new Outlook to the classic Outlook. And in the new Outlook, what you do is you click on the Help menu. And from there, you go ahead and click on the Go to Classic Outlook. But for some reason, it doesn't work. It just shuts down the new Outlook. Nothing pops up or you get an error. Or you also might find a toggle button right here on the right-hand side. And it gives you an option to go ahead and switch to the classic Outlook. But that doesn't work as well. So in this video we're going to find out a simple way to go ahead and fix this problem and to begin with let's check out what does Microsoft have to say about it. So if you go to support.microsoft.com you might come across this article which states this very problem that hey if you cannot open Classic Outlook on a new Windows PC then you can go ahead and download it from here or install it from the store but it also tells you that hey this applies to if you bought a new Windows device, you may not be able to find Classic Outlook and you might get this error that, hey, we cannot find Outlook or it might give you this error. So why does this happen? Well, this issue occurs because starting in 2024, many new devices are pre-installed with the new Outlook for Windows and don't ship with the Classic Outlook. Now, if you prefer to use the Classic Outlook, as I mentioned, you can go ahead and click on download or install from the store. But for some reason, let's say this does not work as well. When you try to download, it says it's already there, but you don't find it in your PC. And when you try to install it from the store, it says... You know, it gives you an error, something like, sorry about that, something went wrong, we're aware of the issue and we're trying to fix it, um, try refreshing or come back later and so on, so all that kind of stuff. I'm going to put a link in the description for uh, this, uh, you know, article as well, so you, you know, feel free to read it out. Um, so let's check out how to fix this problem. All right, so in order to fix this problem, go ahead and open up Control Panel. And once you're in Control Panel, go ahead and click on Uninstall a Program. Don't worry, I'm not going to ask you to uninstall anything. So let's go ahead and click on Uninstall a Program. All right, perfect. Now here, look for Microsoft 365 that you see right here, right? So once you select Microsoft 365, go ahead and click on Change. So once you click on change, let me just do that real quick. It tells you, it asks you, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You say yes, and this window is going to pop up. Now it gives you two options. It gives you an option to quickly repair it or go ahead and go for online repair. Now you can go for a quick repair um, and that's going to fix most of your issues quickly without the need of uh, an internet connection. Now if you do have an internet connection then you can directly go for online repair. However, uh, it is going to take some time. As it says here, a little longer. Well, it's not really a little longer. It is. Uh, it takes quite a lot of time. Uh, well, in my case it did. So, yeah. So, um, um, wait for it to complete. A window may pop up once you go ahead and click on repair after selecting online repair. Um, you go ahead and click on repair and uh, a window might pop up and uh, then it may disappear as well. Don't worry. Don't go around clicking on stuff. Wait for it to complete. And uh, once it completes, it's going to let you know that, hey, it is complete. The repair is complete. So once it tells you that, go ahead and restart your computer. And after that, try downloading or installing or maybe just opening up uh, the classic Outlook directly. Um, the link that I showed you before from the article, uh, from there you should be able to download the classic Outlook or even from the toggle window of the new uh, Outlook when you try to click on go to classic Outlook. Uh, you click on that toggle button. Uh, this time, after the repair is done, you will be able to go ahead and download the Classic Outlook and switch that. In case you're not able to do it, let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to help. Uh, please subscribe, like, share, and comment if you are new to the channel and if this video helped. Have a great day ahead. Goodbye.